What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your RPG AR-15. Now when you get the whole system, it comes in two separate boxes. So you have box one that comes with the subwoofer, the stand to connect your array system to the sub, a linking cable for the array and the sub, and a power cable. And then we have box two that comes with the array speaker, and it also comes with four wheels that we can attach to the sub for easier transport. So now let's talk about how to assemble the whole system. So the first thing we can think about when assembling our system is whether we want to attach the included wheels to the subwoofer or not. This is completely optional, but it makes transporting your subwoofer around from gig to gig a lot easier. So if you do want to attach the wheels, all you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill. If you look at the back of the subwoofer, you'll see these four screws here for each corner, and this is where the wheels are going to go. So firstly, we're going to take out these screws with a drill, or you could also use a Phillips head screwdriver. So I can start with one corner at a time, take my drill and line it up to each screw, and take them out one by one. Once you've done this with one corner of your sub, you can repeat this process for the rest of the corners. So once you've taken out all of the screws, you can then take one of your wheels here and line it up to one of the corners on the back of your sub. Also make sure that this panel here is vertical so that it lines up perfectly with the holes here on the corners of the sub. Once you have the wheel lined up, you can take four of your screws and just push them into the screw holes to start so that it keeps the wheel in place. You can then take your drill or Phillips head screwdriver and screw these in to secure the top of the wheel. So now that we've got the first couple of screws secured to the wheel, we can then gain access to the remaining screw holes by moving the wheel over just like this. And then we're just gonna take two more screws and line them up to these screw holes and secure them with our screwdriver or drill. So now to attach the rest of the wheels to the sub, you're gonna follow the same exact steps that we use to attach our first wheel. One thing to keep in mind though is that you actually have two sets of wheels. So you have regular wheels like this, and then you have two wheels that have this locking mechanism here. So we recommend you actually take the wheels with the locking mechanism and set them up diagonal to each other. So if you have the first locking wheel on the top right corner, you're gonna wanna set up the second locking wheel to the bottom left corner. And remember that attaching these wheels is completely optional, so you don't have to follow these steps, but we do recommend that you do so, so you have an easier time transporting your sub. The next thing we can do is attach the speaker stand for the system onto our sub. So to do that, we're gonna look at the bottom of the stand to see this threading here. We're just gonna line this up to the pole mount on top of the sub, and then we're just gonna screw it in to secure the stand onto the sub. So now that we've got the stand attached to the sub, the next thing we're gonna do is line up the array speaker to the stand. But first, we're gonna loosen this knob here on the stand so we can pull the top part of the stand up so we have an easier time attaching the array onto the stand. And then after that, we're just gonna tighten the knob back up again to lock it in place for now. So now we have plenty of room to attach the array speaker onto the stand. So to do that, we're just gonna look at the bottom of the array where we're gonna see the threading here. Then we're just gonna line this up to the top of the pole. And then we're just gonna screw the array onto the stand to secure it. If you ever need to, you can actually rotate the top pole here, and you can also rotate the knob on the bottom so that it's perfectly aligned to the rest of your stand. So now that we've got the array attached to the stand, we can now go ahead and set the height. We actually have a couple of different ways we can set the height. The first way we're gonna show you how is by using the top pole here. So if we loosen this top knob here and then raise on the top pole, you're then gonna see these holes along the top pole. We can use these to measure how high our speaker is going. So we have the first hole here, and if we pull up a little more, we have a second hole here, which will allow the speaker to go higher. Once we've found a height we like, we can take the top safety pin here and run that through the hole 
And once we let go, you'll notice that the pin here is stopping the pole from collapsing. And then for full security, we can tighten this knob back up. Now the second option that we have to set the height of the stand is by using the bottom tier of our stand. But one thing to keep in mind is that in order to use the bottom tier, you're actually gonna want to fully extend the top tier of the stand here. So if you do wanna use the second tier, be sure to raise the top pole up all the way and use the second pole to secure the top of the stand. And then from there, we can adjust the second tier. So I went ahead and did that. So I have the top pole fully extended, got my safety pin all set up. And now to access the second tier, I'm gonna loosen this knob here on the back of the stand. And then I can pull up on the stand. And then you're gonna see again that we have these holes here that will signify how high the second tier is going. So once I found a height I wanna use, I can then take the safety pin and run it through the hole of the stand. And then you're gonna tighten this knob back up to fully secure the second tier. So between these two tiers, we have plenty of options to set the height of the speaker system. I'm actually gonna lower it a little bit so that the array is at head level. So after we've set the height for our system, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is connect the array to the sub. So to do that, we're gonna take this connector here we're gonna connect one end into the port here on the back of the array by lining up the groove here of the connector to the groove of the port. Then we're just gonna twist the connector to the right like this. And then you should hear that little click letting you know that it's connected to the array. So then you're gonna take the other end and plug it into the port on the back of the sub where it says array out. Line up the grooves of the connector to the grooves of the port, twist it to the right, then you'll hear that click letting you know that the array is connected to the sub. After that, we can plug our power cable into the sub and power up our whole system. So once you're all done using the system and you're ready to break down, the first thing you can do is power off the system and take out the power cable. Next, you can disconnect the array from the sub by unplugging this connector here. And to do that, you're just gonna pull on the silver piece on top of one end of your connector. You're then just gonna twist that end to the left. And then from here, you're able to pull it out so we just did that for the array, and to do that for your sub, you're just gonna do the same exact thing. Now we can break down the array by taking the array head here and just unscrewing it from the top pole, just like this. Once you've loosened it all the way, you just wanna keep one hand on it so that it doesn't fall off of the stand here. Then you can just carefully lift up the array head to remove it from the stand. From here, we can collapse the height of the stand by loosening the knobs, since we only use the top tier here, we can just lift up on the top tier, take out the safety pin, and then push the top of the stand all the way down and tighten the knob back up to lock it in place. If you had the height set on the second tier, you're just gonna do the exact same thing. Loosen the knob, take out the pin, slide it all the way down and lock it up with the knob. So after that, we can take the stand off of the sub by taking the base of the stand here and unscrewing it from the sub just like this. Once it's loosened all the way, we should be able to lift up on the stand and take it off of the sub. And now we've got all of the pieces disconnected to pack up or store away. From here, we can transport the sub using the handles on each side. And if you have the wheels attached to the sub, you can use the handles to place the sub on its back. And from there, use the wheels to transport your sub. Remember, you got the locking mechanism on two of the wheels if you ever need the sub to stay in place. So now let's go through some of the features on the RPG AR-15. On the back of the sub, we have two inputs with combo jacks to connect any microphone or line level signal into the sub. So first, let's go over how to connect a microphone. So I got a mic right here and an XLR cable. I'm gonna plug the female end of the cable and plug it into my mic. Then I can plug the other end into either input one or input two. For today, I'm gonna to plug it into input one. Above the combo jack inputs, you'll actually see the mic line switch, which is very important because this sets the input either to microphone mode or line mode, depending on what we have plugged into these inputs. So for example, because we have the microphone plugged into input one, we're actually gonna to want to press this button in to set that input to microphone mode. So to hear the microphone coming out of the speaker system, I'm gonna raise the volume knob for input one on the top here. I'm also gonna to wanna to raise the master volume knob in the middle here. 
And then I can raise the sub volume knob so you will also hear the microphone coming from the subwoofer. And now if I turn on my microphone, check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the whole system. In between the two inputs, we have the master volume knob to set the overall volume that's coming out of our system. And then below that, we have the sub volume to set the level of everything coming out of the subwoofer. So that covers the microphone there. Now let's go over how to set up an instrument like a guitar. For this, I'm gonna take a quarter inch cable and plug one end into my guitar. Then I can plug the other end into input one or input two, but because I'm already using input one for my microphone, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into input two. Remember, we have to use the mic line switch depending on what's plugged into the input. So because this isn't a microphone, I'm gonna set it to line mode by leaving the button unpressed. So then I can raise the volume for input two. Make sure that the master volume and the sub level are all set to your liking. So now if I raise the volume on my guitar and start to play, you should be able to hear my guitar coming out of the system. So with the microphone and the guitar plugged in at the same time, I have a pretty cool performance set up here. And you hear both of them coming out of the system at the same time. Oh yeah. Now if you wanted to plug in a different instrument like a keyboard, you're just gonna follow the same exact steps that we use to connect our guitar. On the top, we have four different EQ presets so we can fine tune the sound coming out of our speaker system. And we can choose between four different presets of main, monitor, DJ, or speech. This system also has Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair any smartphone or tablet to play music from. So to set the system to Bluetooth mode, we're gonna press the Bluetooth pair button on the back of the sub. You're then gonna hear that sound and see that the pairing light is flashing, letting us know that the system is looking for a device to connect to. So then you can take your smartphone or tablet and go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Rockville RPG AR15, click on it to pair, and then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected. You can control the volume of the music with the volume notches on your device, along with the master volume and sub volume on the back of your sub. So now we can play some music from our device and hear it come out of the system. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds now. Now, if you ever wanted to disconnect your Bluetooth device, you can do that either in the Bluetooth settings of your device, or you can go to the back of the sub and click the Bluetooth pairing button. You're then gonna hear that sound letting you know that the system is disconnected from your device, and you can also verify that by looking at the Bluetooth settings of whatever device you had connected. Now, because we can connect a Bluetooth device and a microphone at the same time, the RPG AR15 makes for a great karaoke setup. So first, we'll set up our microphone to the system by plugging it into one of the inputs on the back. For today, we'll use input one. On top of that, we have the mic line button to set the input either to microphone mode or line mode. And because we have our microphone plugged in, we're gonna want to press the button to set it to mic mode. Next, I'm gonna raise the volume knob for input one. I'm also gonna raise the master volume and the sub volume so we hear the microphone coming out of the whole system. So now if I turn on my microphone, check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the system. So now that we've got the mic all set up, let's go ahead and set up our Bluetooth device. For today, we're gonna be using our tablet here. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the back of the sub and press the Bluetooth pair button. You're then gonna hear that sound and see the pair button start to flash, letting us know that it's looking for a device to connect to. So now we can go into the Bluetooth settings of our tablet here. Search for the device that reads Rockville RPG AR15. And then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected to the system. So from here, we can go into the YouTube app and search for any karaoke version of any song so that the music is playing through the whole system while we're reading the lyrics from our tablet. Once you have your device connected, you can use the volume notches of your device and the master volume and sub volume to set the level of the music coming out of your system. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. All that glitters is gold, only shooting stars break the mold. Yeah! 
Now what's also really cool is that if you had two RPG AR-15s, you can link them together wirelessly using TWS or True Wireless Stereo. However, there is a way to do this by linking two RPG AR-15s together with an XLR cable. So the first thing we'll wanna do is connect our Bluetooth device to the master speaker. So to do that, I'm gonna press the Bluetooth pair button on the back of my master speaker. You're then gonna hear that sound and see that the pairing button is flashing, letting us know that it's looking for a device to connect to. So I'm gonna go into the Bluetooth settings of my phone or tablet and search for the device that reads Rockville RPG AR-15. Then I'm gonna click on it to pair. And then you'll hear that sound letting you know our device is connected to our first speaker. So next we're gonna go to our second speaker here and set it to the Bluetooth pairing mode by pressing the pair button. Then we're gonna go back to the first speaker and press the TWS button right underneath the Bluetooth pair button. Then after that, the two speakers are gonna automatically pair and you're gonna hear those sounds letting you know that they're connected. So now I can play some music from my phone or tablet and have everything coming out of both speakers at the same time. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. Now the one thing I do want to point out is that the TWS feature only works with your Bluetooth device connected to your system. So if you had a microphone or instrument plugged into one speaker, they're only going to come out of the one speaker and not the both of them connected to TWS. Before we do that, we want to choose which speaker we want to use as the master speaker. So for today, we're going to go with this guy right here. If you look at the back of the sub, you'll see an XLR through output, which allows you to connect your system to another speaker, subwoofer, etc. This will also work if you have another RPG AR-15. So to set that up, I got my XLR cable here. So before the setup, I'm gonna choose which speaker I wanna use as the main speaker. So again, we'll go with this one here. I'm then gonna take my XLR cable and plug the female end into the XLR through output on the back. Then I can take the other end and plug it into either input one or input two on the back of the second speaker system. So for today, I'm gonna plug it into input one. Next, I'm gonna wanna set this input to line mode by leaving the mic line button unpressed. Once it's connected to your first speaker, you're then gonna raise the input level knob for input one. And you'll also wanna raise the master volume and the sub volume on both systems. So to test it out, I got my microphone plugged into my first speaker here. So if I turn it on, check one, two, check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of both speakers. So with this setup, you can connect anything from a microphone, instrument, etc., into your main speaker and have it come out of both speakers at the same time. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RPG AR-15. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville and we'll see you guys next time.